he was like trying to like act like he's not doing it so he goes up and then he he notices that we're looking at him. And right when we look at him, we flick him off. But they did end up kicking him out. Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So, as you can tell, I get, I did get a mic. So let me know how the audio is. I'm probably doing it like right here, but I didn't like how the audio was. I'm be holding it. I also do have some cucumbers with lemon as well because I just wanted something to snack on while I tell y'all the story and not have it be awkward. So... If y'all saw the thumbnail and the title, you already know what I'm about to be talking about. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And yeah, let's get to it. Do a cucumber. I don't know how it I don't know how it sounds, but I know I do chew hard, so sorry for that. I don't like it. I'm gonna be talking about two stories. First one is going to be when I was about like 10 or 11 years old. So my mom, to start off like a bit of background, my mom, she went out for a little girl's night. So we had my other cousin with us. So it was me, Yesenia, Alejandra, and our other cousin, I'm not going to say her name, but my other cousin, we were just hanging here. And then I forgot why, but we had to go to H-E-B. The H-E-B that we were going to go to, like, it's not like a bad H-E-B. It's just like you have to just be careful with your surroundings, if that makes sense. So... We, we ended up just going, I remember when we were, I don't know, cucumber. So I remember we were in the store for like no more than 15, 20 minutes because it was there like an in and out type of thing. So we're there, we're about to pay. At that time there was no self checkout. There was only like regular cashier. Me and my dad were already going to be next to pay. And then Alejandra and Yesenia and my cousin, they went to a HUB Buddy Buck machine. So if you don't know what that is, I'm going to put it up here on the screen. But basically, they went to there. And I was about to go with them. But then somebody told me like to stay back. So then I stayed back. And then my dad, he like taps me. And then he like, uh, check on the girls because... I thought somebody was coming. Check on the girls, make sure they're okay. I'm like, okay. So I do that, and then he tells me, he's like, make sure. He basically telling me there's a man behind us, and like, to see if he's staring at, like, me, like, to, at us, or at the girls. So then I look back. I, well, I played it off. I smiled at my um, sisters, whatever, and then I looked at him. I just played it off, right? But he's looking at me, and this dude, like, he literally looks, like, he's so nervous. Like, he's like, re he... He reminded me of the guy from, I don't know if y'all seen The Lost Boys, but like that blonde guy. I put a picture of him up here. So then we're there, and then I see him, and he's all like nervous, and he looks at me. And then I see him, but he has his phone. It didn't even look like he was on his phone, though. Like, it was like those type of like, oh, go on my phone, like, like play it off, right? So then I had just ended up telling my dad, like, yeah, he's like looking at the girls. This part... I don't remember at this point. I don't remember if my dad called Yesenia or he like texted her, letting her know like to come where we're at because we're about to pay. But then also telling her like, uh, because there's a man, you know, he was probably like at his 20s, maybe no more than his late 20s. So then obviously we're like kind of like scared because at that point, like, girl, I'm doing a video. Oh, okay, hold up. My dad's bringing in the mirror. So this is the mirror I was talking about. My dad. Did go ahead and do it. He's been working on it for a few days and he's just missing like this. Oh, he has just been missing the light bulbs on the bottom. But then also, it's like the dimming lights. So, I was able to go like that. But yeah, new pictures on the way. I'm so excited. You're the first one to see. Anyways, so let's get back to the video. Sorry for the interruption. I'm getting hot already. But where was I at? I was at the point, yeah, where I was talking about, okay, so we barely got called, go leave, right? So then we're going, but then my dad, he's like, wait, um, make sure, like, all of us are holding on to each other and holding on to the basket. Um, but we're going to walk a little slow to make sure, to see if he's following us or not. And it ended up being that he was following us. So then my dad, he stops, and there's, like, a little, like, lotto machine there at H-E-B. My dad, he, like, plays it off to get a lottery ticket. I mean, he ends up getting one, you know? So then we're there, um, waiting to see what to do. I mean, within this time, I would give my dad time to think, like, what to do, 
you know like obviously he doesn't want anything to happen to us or anybody no more than a, a minute or two passes by and we end up just like leaving because my dad was like okay where is he and then my dad was like well he saw that he was part like a few probably like five registers down from us so my dad was like okay let, let's just walk out so but then right when we got out of the store we started like speed walking and my dad was like okay somebody has to like pay pay attention to see where he goes and then everybody was like like we literally had to think you know real quick so then i'm like okay i'll look so then i look back and then my dad was like make sure to see if he's following us or not so don't everybody else who wasn't looking for him to like check our surroundings to see if we're gonna go to the hat to the to the car so then i look to my right side because we we're like parked in the middle and we were after the cashier like we could have easily gone to the nearest exit but that exit closed like around 10 and it was already like around like 10 or 5 or whatever whenever we we were paying already also the guy was right there so we're obviously not gonna go the same direction where that guy was at so we're there walking to the car and then i look to my right and then he's right there but he's on the phone with somebody and to my dad like oh he's over there he's walking that way my dad was like don't point and then at that time like obviously i didn't know you know it's like everything's like happening so i pray like don't point don't point like thank god i'm a little short girl so he couldn't see my hand right but he was on the phone and he was like speed walking to the other car where he was walking at because then my daddy ends up like saying like hey, everybody go in the car we had a basket i mean we only had like one or two bags so like we didn't have to open the back of the car thank god because we ended up just going he locked the car so we waited there and then tell me why when well, my dad was like oh are there any cops i'm like yeah i think there's some cops over there like in the plant area areas like outside so then my dad's like okay let me go tell them we get there we're driving up to the cops and then the cops are already, they're already there they're drinking and they're smoking and then my dad and he like kind of like waves them down but he didn't pay attention so he did like you know like a little honk so they could get their attention but they looked at us like why you know basically like oh why are we ruining their they're ruining their mood or you know their little talk whatever so then my the one cop was like why what happened so then my dad explains to the couple like oh, okay yeah i guess we'll just see what happens and he goes and like smokes you could tell the cop did not give a crap about what we were saying like so then my dad he literally just like like okay just letting you know my dad wanted to get mad at them so he can't because you know as a cop i was like i can't believe him like they keep like the attitude like they don't care just wanted to chill whatever so yeah so then we ended up just driving around like a different route so just in case the car was like following us so yeah and then we got home and then my mom got home probably like two hours later that whole thing happened like right when i um see her open the door i start going to her and i start crying it's like asking what happened and then i explained to her and she's like what like, obviously it's kind of like a little traumatizing for that to happen like so like you know like you don't expect it now, that's the first story and the second story i went to a marque mp concert so that one is about hold up i want some of these cucumbers have y'all ever ate or do y'all eat cucumbers with lemon and salt i know some people they put like tahini and chamoy sometimes i'll do that but it's kind of a little late for me to be doing that and my stomach sometimes is sensitive so sometimes i will do that sometimes i won't oh my god <clears throat> I was recording the whole video, the uh, second part of the video, and it freaking paused. <laughs> and then I paused. It didn't get the audio, because I guess I pressed the button or something. So I have to restart the whole thing for y'all. <laughs> so, basically what I was saying was that we get to the Marca Me Pe concert. It's already like, it was supposed to start at 4, okay? It was supposed to start at 4, we get there at 3. It didn't start until like eight but within that time that happened before the concert started we we were there getting some snacks that they had there snacks chilling there but then we noticed there's this like man with like red pants and a black t-shirt and i don't remember if he had a hat i don't think so but he had like his hair like somewhat slicked back and some black shiny shoes and what I could just remember is he was just there, kind of giving like, okay, he's just there by himself. And then after a while, my mom had noticed like, oh, is this guy taking pictures of like the girls? Because keep in mind, there's also probably like a range from six years old to like 17 years old, like, you know, minors and obviously there's more adults and all that too. 
So then my mom notices he's like taking pictures of girls. So then my mom was like, what the hell? Like keep an eye on him. I think anybody else is around him and all that. So then we're there and then we notice he literally gets, he had, we noticed that he has two phones. The other phone, he was on the phone, you know, actually talking to somebody and he was texting somebody and then the, another phone, he was actually taking pictures. So then we're like, what the hell? So then we keep on looking at him and then we're recording him. Like we're literally like recording him. And we're like, what the hell, dude? Like, look over here just to know that you just got caught. But he's like, and when he was taking the videos or pictures or whatever, he was like trying to like act like he's not doing it. So he goes up and then he notices that we're looking at him. And right when we look at him, we flick him off. Because we're like, what the hell? Like, you gotta be kidding me. Like, we didn't even plan to flick him off. I think it was like, a, it was just like something we just like an instinct for us to do. Because like, what the hell? That's so freaking rude. Like, it's respectful. I can't believe we're literally witnessing that you know then he's just there like like a laughing like oh he got caught so then my mom was like oh hell no at that point so she got up and she went to go talk to a cop and i think he like noticed my brother and i think he had like he had left like a little snack area or restroom or whatever but then my mom she thought to explain what happened the cop he had came back and obviously my mom was looking for a cop that looked like either we're actually gonna help us not somebody who's gonna be like oh okay i will we'll do something about it and then i'm not doing it you know but then the man he goes back and then the cop he like walks so you know checking the surroundings and all that he, he like looks at us to make sure that like we're getting he's like he's gonna get the right guy to talk to and then we tell him like yeah that's him like talk to him like get, check his phone the thing is that he had two phones we don't know if he i think he checked both phone i think the cop checked both phones but if he deleted the photos it's like if he if the cop went more deeper and checked it recently deleted because man could easily go back and recover those photos you know but supposedly the man said that he didn't have any photos anymore and all that but they did end up kicking him out oh and then i also forgot to mention there was this other guy with the guy in the with the man in the red pants but the guy that he was with kind of like he didn't give the vibe like he was with the man in the red pants kind of gave the vibe like he just like met him there or something because within that time that the i was taking the pictures the guy was also there the other guy he just left to like a snack area or whatever and so like within the time the cop had came and confronted the guy the guy was still like gone and then literally like minutes after the red pant man he left the guy had came back and the guys like they were like what the hell like where's the guy at but he just like went off to talk to other people he looked like he was with another crowd you know it kind of gave like the man in the red pants was talking to him rather than the guy talking to the man in the red pants you know so then yeah they kicked him out you know thank god he's out there my mom she was like oh my god i can't believe this happened like are y'all sure y'all want to stay here you know checking our safety checking everything so then we ended up just telling like families behind us because there was like a good amount of girls ladies women there just to keep their surroundings about what just happened and they're like oh my god like you know obviously it's like a scary moment like you don't think you will be like in that situation and then i remember posting it on my twitter when i had twitter and then my instagram i believe i had just put like all oh, this happened you know just making sure people saw it like in case they've witnessed you know they've um seen this has happened to them if they've seen this man or anything like that but yeah and so like you said the man left the other guy i don't know where he went but i know i think we did notice that there was a little bit more cops and they were just checking too it's within the concert like starting because like it was much better bed then it started to like probably like a little closer to midnight because there was like another group or two that were performing for before him they were having a good time we leave that's when we noticed that the guy that was talking to the man with the red pants he was there but he was like with a different crowd but he looked like he was just having a good time chilling like no phone down no taking pictures whatever so then my dad gets there right and then we explained to him what happened so he was like you know mad and he was kind of like scared nervous for us my, my, my dad was like you see that's why i told you we should have got a bodyguard my mom did tell us that after they took away that man in the red pants and then i was like oh wow i didn't know you actually had a, i didn't know my dad actually had a bodyguard or like, you know some knew somebody that was a bodyguard you know but then yeah so that's that story type of what happened um because there are plenty of times where a lot of like groups that i want to see they go to that place we went to and obviously obviously i want to see the groups but i don't want to go back to that place because i mean sadly to say that experience happened and i don't want that to happen again and i mean i still go out or like i do plan to go out more too but it's just like I'm checking my surroundings because I've always been like a person to check my surroundings and all that. So, 
yeah, like, I want to go see those groups that perform, but they always go to the place, and I don't want to go to the place, sadly, because of the experience that happened and all that. Yeah, this is your sign to check your surroundings if you are not checking your surroundings, okay? So, yeah, do that. Go have fun, but make sure you're around people you trust or at least trust, trust, like, really, really good. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's kind of short in a way, I think. I don't think it's, like, a long, like, story time, but I hope you enjoyed this video. And remember to like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.